I'm now joined by Kelly Jung, CDO and Director of Planning and Analytics at Sentosa DevCorp. Kelly, such a pleasure to be with you today. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here today. Kelly, the Sentosa Development Corporation is a statutory board under the Ministry of Trade and Industry for the Government of Singapore. How is your data foundation serving as the backbone in everything Sentosa does? Before I go into that topic, uh, let me give a little bit more into what Sentosa Development Corp does as an organization. Right? So we manage 500 hectares of a piece of land in Singapore, southern part of Singapore, so we are the developer operator and promoter of a tourism precinct. Now, when you look at that, in the tourism space, a lot of the data is actually sitting outside of the organization, right? Because we have the hoteliers, we have the attractions players, and we have the F&B operators on the island itself. So to really get a pulse of the island, what we need to do is actually to speak to all our partners and do a data share. Well, that sounds easy, isn't it? But actually, it's a lot more tougher than uh, it seems, right? Because there's a lot of commercial considerations, because we are also the landlord, right? So there is a certain level of commercial sensitivity along those lines as well. But I think really when we look at the business intent and the common shared purpose and objective, all the organizations and the partners on the island are more than willing to share the data in return for a island level insights. Now, that really forms the foundation of what we do at Sentosa. It's really about driving visitorship and actually marketing to the right segment of the people. Right. Really appreciate that perspective. Kelly, the topic of the hour remains AI. From your perspective, how will this continue to play a direct role in everyday life? I think one of the key things about data sharing uh, is really to get organization and our partners aligned. And we do that at multiple levels, right? starting from the leadership. So we have very frequent engagement with our partners, uh, the owners of the properties, and also the general manager of the properties as well, and also the marketing managers. Now, they are key to actually how successful the data sharing initiatives for the island actually progresses. So uh, through that conversation, a very frank conversations, right? Uh, some can be very hard conversations as well, right? Asking for insights, asking for data, right? Even if for a certain season, right, visitors are not coming onto the island, right? We wanted to know why, right? For the hoteliers, for the F&B, and also for um, the attraction operators. Now, one of the key things that you need to know, the target segment for each of these properties could be very different. I'll give you an example, right? One of the attraction players, the predominant market is actually the Japanese, whereas another property player is actually uh, the Koreans, right? And that lies into how we actually amalgamate the data, looking at the insights, looking at which markets are coming into the, onto the island, and actually the preferences. And now, because of that, we can actually look at some marketing alliance by, selected, by selecting a group of attraction players that actually can come together and bundle attractions and experience to those customers from the various markets. Thank you for that perspective, Kelly. I understand that SDC is using Snowflake to share data with its island partners. Can you provide some insight into what data is being shared in the impact this data sharing is between SDC and its island partners? Yeah. So first and foremost, right, uh, we draw visitorship data from all our partners and we are sharing insights about the visitorship, about, about the markets that come onto the island as well. So previously, before Snowflake, we had a lot of data silos. And to actually get the insights out to the partners took maybe about two months. So by the time they receive the insights, it's about two months, right? Business has- Out of date, out of time. Yeah, out of date, out of time. It's no longer relevant, right, to them. But with Snowflake, um, data insights actually can be given to our partners in almost close to real time. So they actually get a weekly flash report, right, of the week past. And that really helped them tremendously in explaining to their owners of what's going on with their business on the island, right? So not only at their specific property, it's actually at the island level. That really helps them a lot. Now, another initiative that we have done is actually to develop a recommender engine in our e-commerce store, right? That really helped to actually drive sales to the island. So after the implementation of the recommender engine, we saw the click-throughs 
jumping by more than more than sixfold, and conversion actually going up by more than four times. So that was really a positive result in actually acquiring data from our partners and sharing them back as insights to our partners as well. And in return, driven some of the positive outcomes that I've seen today. Great to hear, Kelly. Thank you so much for joining us here in San Francisco for Snowflake Summit. Before I let you go, what are you looking forward to most this upcoming week? Yeah, thank you, Ryan. I think one of the key things that we are all looking at is generative AI. Right. There's a lot of hype about it, but I think the key thing is actually how can we make it a reality. So we have some initial uh, success, but we are looking to productionize that yeah, in time to come. Kelly, such a pleasure having you on Data Cloud now. Thank, thank you, you so much for joining thank me. Thank you, Ryan. Pleasure. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud now. We'll see you soon.